For years, they'd say, now what do we call her? Do we call her her, call her Walter, or Darcel? I can't be bothered worrying about who I am. I know who I am. In order to do what I do for a living, I have to know who I am. In November, I'll be 89, which sounds older to me than anything. I was born in 1930. Either you went to college or you got married, and I got married. There was nothing about marriage that I didn't like. It was the fact that I was gay and I had to tell them because I was lying to them and myself. It was a hard time. I bought a tavern in Old Town and we started the shows to entertain our guests. I'd been in local theater all through my marriage, so it was logical that I'd be on stage, but we had nothing. It started with nothing. We didn't go out of the club with drag on. Who knew what could happen to you out there? Gay bashings and people weren't aware of the culture, certainly not ready to see a man in a dress. They probably would throw me out, the, out, of, the, out of the store if I went in and said, okay, I want to try that dress on. So I taught myself how to sew on a sewing machine and off I went. I didn't have a name for a long time, and my partner, Roxy, he worked with a movie star in the 50s, Denise Darcel, and so we just added another L, and, and it stuck. Roxy and I were together for almost 50 years, did everything together. We worked together, we lived together, Lovers, friends, working companions. He died on a Saturday night in the driveway. He was in the car, dressed in a suit. We were on our way to work. I went to work. I wasn't about ready to sit in this house alone. And so I went to work. And I am so glad that I worked that night because it, it kept me going. I know that you have to find what you want to do and go for it and find who you are and then stick with it. I'm going to keep working as long as I can. I can still remember what I'm supposed to say. I can still get on stage and get off. I get dressed. <laughs> my life and I love it. I don't want to stop and just do nothing. If I hadn't told my wife and family that I was gay, if I hadn't met Roxy, my partner of almost 50 years, there wouldn't be a Darcel. Or I would be dead by now. We retired from Fred Meyer and sit on the sofa and watch television <laughs> or hunt or something. No, no.
have to think of that when I'm going away, when I'm dying. I don't regret a day of my life. No, I did it all. I'm very proud that I'm Darcel. Okay, and thank you. Thank I I I I saw a couple of endings. Did you know, Did you? I mean, how to end with the.